evening, ducklings. I do hope you've gotten your fill of tricks and treats today. I'm a spooky witch, and tonight we're going to go somewhere very, very scary. And I don't mean like a production of Merchant of Venice that plays Shylock as an unsympathetic character. Tonight, we go to ancient Rome for the thrilling tale of This All Could Have Been So Easily Avoided! I don't think that's the title. Is it poor decisions to make on a hunting trip? Nope. Don't trust the Goths? Titus Andronicus. Now, before we begin, I just want to say if you are triggered by any of the things currently flashing across the screen, please proceed with caution. Ah, that's... that's a lot of things. Ye old Tarantino. All jokes aside, this video will still be here when you're feeling better. Now, let's get cooking. To ancient Rome, where the sons of the dead king are fighting over who inherits the throne. Noble patricians, patrons of my right, I am the eldest royal son. It is my birthright as Saturnius to rule. My younger brother, Bas... Basian? Basanius? But... Basianus is way too little to govern properly. I mean, what are your qualifications, anyway? I don't suck. Okay, boys, break it up. The Roman people have elected Titus Andronicus to the throne. Both of you calm down and have a juice box. Titus Andronicus is Rome's best general who just spent the last 10 years vanquishing the Goths in war. It also says that he lost 21 sons in all of those little battles, so he has like nine kids already in the play, so... It doesn't say how many wives he lost to childbirth, but he must have kept it pumping like a fire hose. I'm back! I brought lots of war prisoners. I got Tamora, the Gothic queen, Aaron, her distressingly handsome manservant, and three Gothic princes, and only two more of my own sons died. Well then, time for a nice bit of human sacrifice. Give us the proudest prisoner of the Goths that we may roast him. Um, here, have Tamora's eldest son. No, please don't do that! Sorry, sweet cheeks, but revenge is revenge. Wouldn't you do Doing this give me cause to revenge myself? Nah, I think we'll be okay. Cut him into tiny pieces and throw him into the fire! Don't worry, Mom, we'll avenge him. And we'll be quick about it, too, unlike some other unnamed, revengeful Shakespearean sons. Well, at least I'm not a rapist. Daddy, you're home! Ah, oh, Lavinia, my favorite daughter! I'm your only daughter, silly! And my favorite, and my favorite brother, Marcus! Hey, Titus, quick question, can you be the new Roman king? I think I'm getting a bit old for that, but Saturnius can rule. He's the oldest royal son, and going by tradition has never been wrong. Score! Thanks, Titus. As a reward, I'll take your smoking hot daughter as my queen. How is that a reward? I love Bassianus. What? You can't steal the crown of my girlfriend in the same day? Come on, Lavinia, let's blow this door my stand. No, you're not. Get back here. Um, father, maybe we should think about this a little more? How dare you block my way? Oh. So that's why he had so many kids, in case he accidentally killed a couple in a rage attack. Dad, seriously, can we talk about this? No, tradition is always right and Saturnius wanted Lavinia. Well, the emperor doesn't want her anymore. She's Icky. All Roman girls are icky. I want a sexy gothic woman as my queen. And here, in the sight of heaven, to Rome I swear I will be a handmaid to your desires. There goes the neighborhood. We're still banging right tomorrow. Oh yeah. <laughs> my new wife is so hot. There are serious issues with making a revengeful war prisoner the empress, guys. They're making out. Okay. Titus, you killed another one? At least let us give him a proper burial. He's no real son of mine. He disobeyed my orders. I'm gonna hold my breath until you agree with us. <gasps> this isn't going to work. <clears throat> okay, fine. Bury him in the family tomb. Whatever. <sighs> okay. <coughs> Thank you. Attention, citizens. I, Saturnius the Emperor, hereby forgive my dweeb brother for not giving me his girlfriend because my fiancé is way hotter than his now. <clears throat> In celebration of our marriages, I declare tomorrow a love day. Does that mean what I think it means? Only in Julie Taymor's adaptation. We'll all go on a nice hunting trip. Yeah, being in a dark forested area with people who want to kill us and giving everyone weapons is a great idea. That evening, in the part of the palace reserved for dramatic monologues... <laughs> Quick note about Aaron, he's a more like Othello. Now, obviously, I can't portray that properly because I'm... Um, Paler than the driven snow, so just keep his actual ethnicity in mind. Uh, someone did ask me if I was gonna do blackface for this, and I was like, ha ha! Ha ha! I will be bright and shine in pearl and gold to wait upon this new maid empress. <laughs> We're gonna screw everywhere in the castle. <laughs> oh? 
What storm is this? Karen, I'm older, so I'd be able to bang Lavinia better. Okay, one, I'm only two years younger than you. B, you're a huge stupid baby compared to me. No, you're the huge stupid baby. I'm telling mom. Children, please, Lavinia's engaged to Bassianus. I don't care if she's engaged. I love Lavinia more than all the world. I can't believe people hate Romeo and Juliet for love at first sight when these two exist. Come on, kids. Don't let some silly girl come between you. Both of you can rape her. That was almost good parenting. Okay, the next morning in the forest. Oh, it's such a beautiful morning. The birds are chirping, the deer are bouncing around, and our weapons are ready to mow them all down. You know, Lucius, I had some misgivings about this little shindig, but I am completely at ease now. Whatever you say, Dad. Good morning, Emperor Saturnius. Hello, Andronikai family. My new stepsons, Demetrius and Charon. Are you guys ready to see some real Roman hunting? Except we're not hunting the normal deer, right, Charon? Right, Demetrius. We hope to pluck a dainty doe to ground. We're hunting sexy deer. At least it's not sexy ponies. Meanwhile, in a lonely part of the forest, gonna bury all this gold for nefarious purposes. <laughs> Hey, baby. I like how you handle that shovel. Madam, though Venus governs your desires, Saturn is dominator over mine. Vengeance is in my heart, death in my hand, blood and revenge are hammering in my head. Ugh, oh, don't stop. Oh, here comes Bassianus and Lavinia. You quarrel with him, I'm gonna go fetch your sons. Ha <laughs> ha, look, it's the gross goth queen. I can't believe she's cheating on your brother with a black guy. You know, Lavinia, intersectional feminism would really be able to help you in like two pages. Maybe you should just... I'm back and I brought the boys. These hideous Romans said they'd murder me. What? No, it was just some racist stuff. Kill them right now or you're not my real sons. This is witness that I am thy son. And this for me struck home to show my strength. Ugh, I'm dead. No. Demetrius, give me your sword. I want to stab this wench. Can you like 15 minutes with her first? No. <laughs> Go back to Hot Topic, you bloody emos! Drag hence her dead husband to some secret hole and make his dead trunk pillow to our lust. That is so unsanitary. Tamora, please don't let them do this. You're a woman too. They're your sons. You can stop them. La 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 la. Demetrius throws Bassianus into a specific hole as Charon drags Lavinia off. Hey, Martius and Quintus, two more of Titus's sons. I think there's a panther in this hole over here. You should check it out. Whoa! And they fell. Well, that was, uh, unnervingly simple. <gasps> Saturnius, I think your brother's dead in this hole. Oh, how horrible and surprising. Aren't those Titus's sons in there with him? Indeed they are. Saturnius, honey, look at this letter I found. Thank you, dearest. Dear Huntsman, please kill Bassianus. <gasps> we left payment for you under the elder tree. Why, that must be this jar of gold I found buried under that tree. How mischievous. XOXO Martius and Quintus. <gasps> P.S. We already dug Bassianus's grave for you. It's the big hole. Oh, how easily murder is discovered! Titus! My Highness, what's wrong? Your sons killed my brother! Oh no! Execution at dawn! Well, that is the right thing to do, so go ahead. Dad, this doesn't look like their handwriting. It's the right thing to do! In another part of the forest... Ooh, Lavinia, your touch is so sweet. Aw, oh, that's right, we cut your hands off. <laughs> What's wrong, Lavinia? Cat got your tongue? Nah, we did! Mm, whatever, loser. Have fun trying to tell people who did this to you with no tongue. Yeah, you should try learning sign language. Except you can't do that either. Wah! Who is this? My niece that flies away so fast? Speak, gentle niece! Why does not speak to me? Alas, a crimson river of warm blood doth rise and fall between thy rose lips, coming and going with thy honey breath. <coughs> but sure, some Tyrius hath deflowered thee, and lest thou shouldst detect him, he hath cut thy tongue. Shall I speak for thee? Shall I say tis so? <coughs> Back at the castle. Please, you guys, don't kill my 
my sons. Don't worry, Dad. I'll avenge them. Oh, Titus, prepare thy aged eyes to weep. Now what happened? This was thy daughter. Excuse me? Speak, Lavinia, what accursed hand hath made thee handless in thy father's sight? Speak, gentle sister, who hath martyred thee? Oh yeah, her tongue got cut out, too. <coughs> Good evening, Andronicae. Emperor Saturnia says that he'll spare the lives of Quintus and Martius if Titus cuts his hand off. Of course! Good Aaron, wilt thou help me cut it off? Dad, no, take my hand. No, let my hand serve to ransom my two nephews from their death. I don't care whose hand it is, just hurry up. Fine, you two go get an axe and figure out whose hand it'll be. Okay, Aaron, quick, while they're gone, cut it off. Lend me thy hand, and I will give thee mine. What Shakespeare later does, with like the intricacies of Lear's madness, or the depths of Hamlet guilt, he now does with really awesome hand puns. Okay. <laughs> awesome, I'll go bring this to Saturnius now. Ja, Dad! Hey, Lavinia! Stump bump? <clears throat> Worthy Andronicus, the Emperor has rebuked your offer. Here's your hand back and your son's heads will be following shortly. Oh man, this is the worst day ever! Also, I got banished for trying to save my brothers from their execution, so I'm just gonna take some vacation time and raise an army of goths! The original pronunciation of goths is actually goats, which just adds a whole new fun level to this play. <gasps> Whew! Later, in the garden. Oh, my poor daughter Lavinia. I can interpret all her martyred signs. She says she drinks no drink but tears. Auntie Lavinia, what are you doing with that stick? She's writing out the name of her attackers with the stick. D d dev Devin? Dev Demetrius and Charon? Vengeance! Another room in the castle, moments later. My gothic lords, Demetrius and Charon, I greet your honors from Andronicus. What's the news, lovely Lucius? My grandpa sends you guys the best weapons in all of Rome. And a note. The man of upright life and free from crime has no need of the Moor's javelins or arrows. Titus has figured out that they're guilty. Mmm, I miss Lavinia. I would we had a thousand Roman Danes at such a bay by turn to serve our lust. A charitable wish and full of love. You two need to learn how to take care of yourselves. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> the Empress has given birth! Wait, but she and Saturnius have been married for like three days. A joyless, black, dismal, and sorrowful issue. Zooms, ye whore. I think he's cute. Thou hast undone our mother! Villain, I have done thy mother. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the first recorded I did your mom joke. <laughs> Why isn't this play more popular? You must kill the baby to protect Tamora. Mmm, nah. No, oh, I'm dead. Goodbye, boys. I'm going back to the Goths to save my baby from the Romans. How did Saturnius not notice that Tamora was pregnant? I mean, they definitely consummated. Well, Anne. Never mind. In the courtyard. All right, guys, we're gonna shoot all of these arrows into the sky. I've attached letters to all of them. Please to the gods for them to help us. Oh, hey, Cloud, you look like you're on the way to the castle. Indeed I am. There's a matter of pigeons to be discussed, you see. Can you give a letter to him on my behalf? Why, of course. Anything to help my fellow Roman citizen. Minutes later. Hey, that clown for treason! I can't believe Titus has shot these letters all over town. Now everyone knows my sins. Emperor Saturnius! Gothic troops are advancing on Rome! Yeah! Don't worry, honey. I'll make Titus take care of it. Oh, thanks, baby. Have you lost weight? Um, yeah, it's it's all that Roman Pilates. You look great. It's like you gave birth or something. On the Roman plains! We are going to destroy Saturnius. What team? The Goths and some of the rational Romans. What team? The Goths and some of the rational Romans. Anyway, <clears throat> Lucius, sir, I found Aaron and his baby wandering around the plains. He's the meanie who started all of this. Hang the child and then hang him. Wait. If you spare my child, I'll tell you everything. Uh, fine. Let's see. I convinced Demetrius and Charon to rape Lavinia and kill her fiancé. I tricked Titus into chopping off his own hand. I framed his son so that they would be executed by Saturnius. And I banged Tamora to make you. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I have done a thousand dreadful things as willingly as one would kill a fly. 
and nothing grieves me heartily indeed but that I cannot do 10,000 more. You are so evil! Ugh, hanging is way too nice a death for you. At least gag him so that he stops talking. Lucius, Saturnius wants to speak with you. Tell him we're coming. To Rome! Like, like, we're, we're going back to the castle. We're not gonna wander around the plains. Like, to Rome, the, the physical... Let, let's just go. In front of Titus's house. All right, kids, cover your faces. I'm going to be revenge, uh, and you two are going to be rape and murder. Titus has obviously gone mad, so now we have the chance to really screw with him. How stupid do they think I am? Titus, it is I, the spirit of revenge, come to talk with thee. Here are my two ministers, rape and murder. How interesting it is that you look exactly like Tamora, and your ministers look exactly like Demetrius and Charon. Everyone here strangely resembles each other, actually. Titus, you can only separate yourself from thine enemy if you have a banquet and invite everyone. You must bring your son Lucius, too. That'll separate him from the Gothic army, and then we can swoop in on those. Of course! How reasonable! I'll start preparing the menu right away if you leave rape and murder here with me. No problem! Don't worry, boys. I'll be back for you in like an hour. Just speak smooth. Well, now that we're alone, I'm sure you two won't mind being tied up and gagged. What? We thought you were crazy! <laughs> nope. <laughs> Lavinia, special treat! <laughs> hey, boys. You see that bull there? Yeah. That's where I'm gonna collect your blood. <laughs> And now prepare your throats. I am going to crush your bones into flour, make a pasty of your brains and blood, and bake the most delicious meat pie your mother has ever eaten. That's much more potent than the legal system today. I guess they should call me Sweeney Andronicus. Right, Lavinia? Nah. At the banquet. Oh, it's, uh, it's good to be home. I brought Aaron with me as prisoner so that he can pay witness to Tamora's crimes. You're on my territory, Red Rat. You wanna go, punk? Everyone, calm down. We're going to have a nice sit-down family dinner before the land disputes. Welcome one, welcome all. Though the cheer be poor, twill fill your stomachs. Please, you, eat of it. Thank you. Titus, this looks delicious. And the steak knives you set the table with seem especially sharp. Saturnius, tell me. Was the hero Virginius right in killing his daughter because she was raped? Oh yes, because the girl should not survive her shame and therefore make her father even sadder. A reason mighty strong and effectual. Oh, Lavinia! Ah! And when thy shame, thy father's sorrows die. Dad, no. Don't worry, it was really Demetrius and Charon who caused her to be killed, not me. They, they, they raped her? Oh my god, bring them here right now! Oh. They've been at dinner the whole time, isn't that right, Tamora? Yeah! That's right! I baked your sons into those pies! Now witness my knife's sharp point! Ugh. How dare you kill my wife! Ugh. There's mead for mead! Dead for a deadly deed! Ugh. There goes the rest of the family. Well, I suppose this solves the whole who's the rightful emperor thing. All hail Rome's royal emperor! Okay, my first order as emperor of Rome, Aaron shall be buried chest deep next to Tamora's corpse. That way he can watch her getting picked at by birds while he starves. Um, Saturnius can go to his family's tomb, I guess. But Titus and Lavinia definitely going in the real Andronicus tomb. Then, afterwards, to order well the state, that like events may ne'er ruinate. Ah, stuff is sticky. This is the worst family reunion ever. And that's exactly what happened. So, to conclude, that's 14 deaths, 9 of which are on stage, quite a few severed body parts floating around, adding up to an average of one violent act every 97 lines, and quite a large dry cleaning bill. Happy Halloween, ducklings!